Funeral service will be held today for firefighter Wayne Brooks Jr., who died last week battling the massive cargo ship fire in Port Newark. Sadly, it is the second funeral in two days for the Newark Fire Department. CBS 2's Zania Maldonado is live in Newark outside the church where this morning's service will take place. Zania? Well, Cindy and Mary, like you said, it's the second day in the row where this community is saying goodbye to another esteemed member of the Newark Fire Department, firefighter Wayne Brooks Jr. He will be laid to rest later this morning. Now, yesterday, his casket, followed by his family, made its way in here inside the Cathedral Basilica of the Sacred Heart. It followed the funeral of his fellow firefighter, Augusto Akabu, who also passed away during last week's cargo ship. Now, Wayne Brooks Jr. leaves behind two children and is remembered as a hero who was passionate about serving his community. One of his fellow firefighters calling Brooks well-rounded. Another saying Brooks was, quote, a sweetheart, always smiling, would not pass by you without saying hello or giving you a handshake, adding that the 49-year-old's nickname was Bear, as in Teddy Bear, because he was a lovable person, the nicest guy you'll ever meet. Loved ones Thursday, reflecting on the legacy he leaves behind. Brooks is, you know, one of those guys that he likes. You know, he he always he always looked out. He was looked out for the people he worked with. His love for the job is, you know, he loves the fire department and stuff like that. And whatever he could do for the fire department, he did. It's one of those times where, you know, he died doing what he loved to do. And Brooks spent 16 years with the Newark Fire Department. Governor Phil Murphy has ordered flags to fly at half staff today as well. We're live this morning from Newark, New Jersey. Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zania, thank you.